Hello everybody. What are we getting into today? Stick around and find out. It's going to be fun. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today I am going to have a play with some new products that I got in. They are decorative art rollers and they are by the Artistic Painting Studio, Jennifer Ferguson is the creator of these and they're called FOE, F-A-U-X, FOE rollers. They come in, as you can see, a ton of different patterns. And then she also has another style that is a stamping roller. But you can kind of basically do the same thing with either one. But I just got the Foey Rollers. I have three. I have this really cool. This one is called Baroque. And then I have Crocodile. Which to me is also kind of like a crackle. She has an actual crackle um, style one as well. But I thought that might serve both purposes. And then this really cool one that has the small circles and then the large ovals. I have my jelly plate set up. Every time I pull this out, I kick myself for not getting the 8x10 jelly plate. This one is 5 and 3 quarters wide by, by 11. 5 and 3 quarters, 5, five and a half by 11. So... I cut some papers down and I'm just going to start, I need my brayer, I'm going to start with this um, acrylic, what's it, it is bright aqua green and it always spits at me so I'm going to be careful here. Gotta layer that on the plate. be too much. And took my paper off. I just have my glass there. I wasn't thinking about that. Usually I have my paper right there. I can just roll right off onto it. I thought you might be able to see a little bit better. I should just have another piece of paper. Okay. I'm just going to brayer some of this off onto a paper towel. I get a thinner application. Okay. And then I'm going to take my roller. I have the oval. I think it's called Ovalicious. Oh, you know what, guys? It's sliding. I might have to, I'm not sure if this is going to work. There we go. No, it's still sliding. <laughs> I want it to work. I'm going to have to help it. Oh, yes. Look at that luscious pattern. Oh, my God, I'm in love. Okay, I did grab some roll-off papers. Um, just some extra pieces of cardstock here to my left. I'm going to go with um, Quinacridone Magenta. Making sure it's open. I just got these. I'm going to put it on my smaller jelly plate to roll it out. And I can get a lighter layer that way. I won't go so heavy. Might need some more though. And if you haven't used the jelly plate, whatever you put down first 
is going to be what's in the foreground when you lift your print. And whatever you put down last will be in the background. So what we have here, we're going to have, because the roller made holes in the bright um, aqua green, this quinacridone magenta will be showing through those holes. So I'm going to wait for that to set up just a minute. Line this up. It's not as long as my plate is either. So I'm just going to I'm going to just take the book paper. If I can grab it, put that down there. And then just nice steady pressure. And I'm hoping is that it gets all picked up and I can how pretty that color combo is and can test it Let's see oh oh all right we're not getting it all but I'm loving what we're getting is that not gorgeous you get the pattern you get the intermixing of the two colors gave us kind of a pretty lavender and then just the bright pop of the other of the turquoise and the magenta really really pretty my problem always is where to put the paper all right i'm just going to put this book paper on here and see if i can pick the rest of it up Probably should have let it dry just a little bit longer and I would have gotten everything. This is from a really old book. Paper's kind of brittle. Yeah, we're getting most of what was left. So we got that. We can go again on that one. And I'm just going to wipe off what's on the bottom there. I don't mind if I have a little bit of color left. It'll get picked up on another print, which is also cool. All right, let's try. I have some Payne's Gray. Let's try that. We'll go down with that first. Looks more like charcoal gray. Pants gray is one of my absolute favorite colors, but it may be because it's my plate is stained, as you can see. It's green. I don't I think alcohol ink stained it. But okay. Oh yeah, it's pretty purple. Well, that's because it mixed with the Quinacrid on magenta that was left on my brayer, I guess. It's pretty. Let that, you know what, I need a little bit more up here, I think. I'm just going to plop this one over here on my paper and let it sit for a minute. Let this dry a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go in with the bright aqua green next. I think, well, that was a lot more than I wanted because I wanted to do two colors on here. This 
So I don't even have to worry about the bottom, do I? My paper doesn't come to the bottom. I'm just going to roll the background color on here just to use that paint. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing over here. I just have a piece of cardstock. I'm just rolling this paint off onto it. I'll just have a nice turquoise background to put something on. All right. It does take a lot of real estate when you're doing this because I want to. Two paints so messy. I'm going to blend this in. It's probably drying already because I farted around so much. All right. I'm going to go one more time with the ovals. This is going to be pretty. I can tell already. I think I'm going to put I think I'm going to go with the light and see what happens. I'm not sure what will happen. Okay, I'm going to roll the light color on for the background. I'm going to roll this one too. Why not, right? can. I'm just going to use this one. Let me put that other color on. That's kind of pretty. Let's see if we can get a ghost print on this side of it. up too. And we got most of it off the plate. I'll go again on that one at some point. We got a little gap on it. All right, let's see what we get with this one. I'm just going to wipe this off the bottom. Of course, it's all over my hands. I'm going to leave this one on just a little bit longer. 
leave the paper on for a few seconds longer. See if I can pick up more of the paint than I did the first time. Even though I really liked the first one. I love the colors. Then I'm going to change the artistic painting studio roller. I'm going to use a different Foey roller on the next one. Still a lot left on there. I'm going to let it sit for a minute. I'll change my roller. The handle comes with the roller and it just pulls out like that. And when you want to put the another and just push it in. Make sure that it rolls freely and you're ready to go. No, I want more of that. That's all I'm going to get on this pass. It's pretty cool and grungy looking. Not as pretty as the first one. But it would have its place. I can, I'm going to go again on that one. I'm going to put something lighter on top of it. So I've got three over here that I can reuse. I'm going to, since I still have that purple there, I'm gonna <clears throat> brayer over it with some more of this. Up there. A little lighter at the bottom maybe. Sometimes, and if you've watched my channel, you know, sometimes my jelly prints come out and sometimes they don't. And I think that's, I mean, unless you're an expert like Birgit Coopson, and she is an expert on the jelly plate, but I think that's kind of the case. You know, it's like you like some of them, you hate some of them. It's just to be expected. I like these two colors together, which is kind of surprising, even though this is magenta. I was just going to say, I don't generally care for the color purple. Purple and pink have just never been in my top 20 <laughs> favorite colors. All right, let's see what we can do with this one. This is the crocodile roller. Ooh. How cool is that? Can you see that pattern? Very cool. Got more pattern up there than I did down here. Probably because there was more of the turquoise up there peeking through. So that'll be interesting. We'll see what we get when we pull a print. I'm going to pull through this one too. I'm just kind of guiding it so that it doesn't slide in the wet paint. I mean, if you're like me, you end up with it all over your hands anyway, so what's the difference, right? That does not bother me one bit. And I think I'm going to pull this print on here. I'm going to let it dry really good, though. I'm going to turn this... That's looking really ugly. I'm gonna, it's really wet. Really wet. I'm just going to put a new one down. I usually have newsprint or that kid's drawing paper on the roll underneath everything. And I thought, gee, maybe I'll just film it with the glass top. I have the kid's drawing paper underneath the glass top just to give me a white background, but 
that might not have been my best choice to just go on the glass because then I have to have paper over here. It's okay. I'm rambling because I'm waiting for this to dry. This has been fun. I hope you're enjoying watching the process with these Foey rollers. Be sure to check the description box below for the link to Artistic Painting Studio with Jennifer Ferguson. These are her rollers. Um, I just think it's genius. Just genius. I'm going to try drying these a little bit with my heat tool. I'll be back. Okay, they're fairly dry. I'm just going to put a background layer of this turquoise green on these. Because I like that first one so well. too much. Let's take a little off. I think this one's got too much on it too. They say it works best if you can kind of see the layer underneath your last layer of paint. So you can see the pattern there now. want to make sure that it has really good contact everywhere. How about that? That's really cool.
Okay, what do I need to do now? Let's see, what do we have? I've got this dark here, although now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like that. It's speckly with some green around the edges. I think I may keep that one as is. Then I've got this piece that I, I like that one. I'm just going to ignore that. So I guess those are okay the way they are. This one I think is going to just go in the garbage heap. Yep. I don't like that. I have these roll off papers that I'll just save them and do something with them. Let me get these out of the way here. Because I'm going to bring the ones over that did turn out decently. So we can look at them again. And so these are just my two roll off papers. But we can do something on top of those, or I mean, I can. Um, you know, I can collage on those, or I can use pieces of those as collage papers. I'm going to move these plates. And these did curl up quite a bit, so let me see if I can't straighten them out. I'll lay them down here. This one is really pretty. That one was with the crocodile roller. That one's still really wet. That was with the crocodile roller. This one is really... I. This was the first one I did, and I still like this one the best with that ovalicious roller. I like that one a lot. What else do we have? This piece of music paper that has just all the different areas that I use kind of as a pickup paper. But, um... I can use parts of that for different things. And then I ended up liking this one with the green and the music paper in the background. I like this center part here with the green on this one. I just love the grunginess of this. I do. I like it. And then this was the one that I just did with the stencil. So, all in all, not too bad. I only threw one paper away that I really hated. I have all of these that I like. I have these two roll-off papers that I can use. And if I wanted to keep going, I could do more with these. Actually, I like this, too, this part. This isn't terrible, but I like that. And I kind of like this, too. So, not bad. It didn't seem like like it went that well as we were going along. But looking back on these, I do. I like most of them. So, pattern-wise, the crocodile worked really well. And the ovals worked really good on this one. The ones that I tried the Baroque on didn't work as well, but it may have been, you know, too heavy of a, it was this one, too heavy of a um, application of paint or something. You know, it's all working with these rollers. That's the crocodile there again. Um, but working with the rollers, it's just something that I'm going to have to work out as to what works the best in terms of how to get the pattern that I want. But I do want to do more with the ovals because I really love that pattern. So I'm going to go hang these up on the line. I just have a string line with some clips. So they dry. Now I get to go clean them. But we have the crocodile. That one's called Ovalicious and that one's called Baroque. And once again, they are from Artistic Painting Studios Studio with Jennifer Ferguson. She does have a YouTube channel. I will link that below because she demonstrates a lot of these um, on-wall applications. 
So you can take a look at that. And she has a website, which I will also link below. She is in Huntington Beach, California. And I hope you grab one for yourself and have some fun and play with it. I'm sure there's a kajillion other applications that I haven't even begun to think about doing, like rolling it through acrylic ink and then rolling it on to... Let's do that. One quick... One quick... I'm going to change this, though, because we use that one a lot. Let's... Let's go back to this Baroque and see. <laughs> It'll only take a minute, guys. I might even just go on the back of one of these sheets here. We this. Um, let's use let's use blue. Since I have my glass down, can you see that? I'll put that there. I'm just gonna put some. Oh, that, did you see this? You didn't see this. Why would you have seen this? This came without a dropper in it. I forgot. All right, we'll use this red. This is De La Rowney. What color is this? I know the color's on here. Scarlet. See? Dropper. Let's see what we can do here. Um, and I'm just going to roll through it. It's probably not enough of it to do anything, is it? What if we do this instead? We'll just put it right on the roller. I just wanted to try, try it real quick. I'm sure there's a better way to do this. Looks like a lot of the roller has ink on it now. Let's see what we get. Oh yes. See? So that's our positive application. Oh, I like that. Great for a background. Fast, easy. Wonder if I just keep going over it. How will we like it? I like it already. And just do this in your journal and then use that for your background or put a color down and then go over it with. I mean, I'm making a mess with it here just because of the way I put the ink on my glass but well, that's pretty cool okay I've taken enough of your time I hope you enjoyed playing with me today visit um, artistic painting studio links are below like this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you liked it if you haven't subscribed, I'd really love it if you did that. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.